This is part 52 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what's JavaScript minification and the benefits we get. So what's JavaScript minification? JavaScript minification is the process of reducing the script file size by removing comments, extra white spaces, and new line characters that are not required for executing JavaScript code. JavaScript minification may reduce the size of the file by 30 to 90%. The minification process will not change its original functionality in any way. What are the benefits of JavaScript minification? The JavaScript file needs to be downloaded to the client machine before the browser can execute your JavaScript code. Let's understand what we mean by this statement. Here we have an HTML page with three buttons. When we view this HTML page in a browser, this is how it looks like. When we click this button, Get Browser Name and Version, it displays the browser name and version. When we click Get Current Month, it displays the current month. Get Current Weekday displays the current weekday. All this is achieved using JavaScript. Now notice when we click this button, Get Browser Name and Version, we're calling Get Browser Info JavaScript function. When we click Get Current Month, we're calling Get Current Month function. Get Current Weekday, we're calling Get Current Weekday function. Where are all these functions present? Notice within the head section, we have a script reference. We are referencing an external JavaScript file with name jsfile.js. This is present in our project folder. And this JavaScript file has got all those three JavaScript functions. Notice we have get current weekday, get current month, and get browser info. Now, when a client makes a request to this page, HTML page one.htm, Along with the page's HTML, it also needs to send this JavaScript file, jsfile.js. So this JavaScript file needs to be downloaded to the client machine so the client browser can execute the JavaScript functions. Right? So that's what this statement means. The JavaScript file needs to be downloaded to the client machine before the browser can execute your JavaScript code. Since JavaScript minification reduces the size of the file, we have these benefits. Reduced download time, less bandwidth consumption of your website, reduced JavaScript time as well because all the comments, extra white spaces, and new line characters are removed. Multiple JavaScript files can be compressed into one minified JavaScript file. This means there are now reduced number of HTTP requests to your server which in turn reduces the load on the server and allows more users to access your website. Let's say within our application, we've got four different JavaScript files. This means this client browser have to make four different HTTP requests to download all those four files. Now, if we combine all those four JavaScript files into one JavaScript file, and if we minify that, then the client browser needs to make just one HTTP request which means there is less load on the server. That means the server can now process more requests. Now let's look at the process of JavaScript minification. There are several tools available, as you can see here. Now there are also several websites that provide online JavaScript minification, and here is one such website. Now when we visit that website, so we can paste our JavaScript text here and then minify it. So let's go to our JavaScript file. So before we minify that, let's open the project folder in Windows Explorer. And if you look at the size of this uh, file, notice that the size is 1.66 kilobytes, right? So now let's go ahead and cut this entire JavaScript file from this file and paste it within this text box. So now, if you look at this JavaScript code, it's very readable because you've got comments, you've got you know white spaces, new line characters. So it's easier on the eyes. It's easy to read. Now let's go ahead and minify it. Notice that this is how the minified version looks like. Now this is not easy to read. It's not easier on the eyes. It's not easy to debug as well. Okay, we'll look at that in just a bit. Now look at the statistics here. The old version of our script had 1700 characters. 
the new version has only 741 characters. And if you look at this new version, notice that it has removed the comments, it has removed the unnecessary white spaces and new line characters. Now let's go ahead and copy this and paste it into our script file. Notice that all our three functions are present in just one line. Okay, let's save this. Let's go back to our script file size and if you look at the size now, notice that it's only 847 bytes. So there is less data to be downloaded onto the client browser so the performance of the page will be much better. Now let's check, you know, let's reload this page and see if it continues to work the same way. Look at this, when I click I still get, you know, the browser name and version, we still get the current month, we still get the current weekday. So the functionality is not changed in any way. What are the disadvantages of JavaScript minification? We have just seen that readability is lost and debugging can be difficult because we don't have uh, comments, all the extra white spaces and new line characters are removed. However, keep in mind, if there is a production issue, it's very rare for someone to debug directly on the production server. So for production purposes, we'll use minified version, you know, for performance reasons. And if there is a production issue and if we need to debug it, we will be debugging it on the development environment. So within your development environment, you can have non-minified version. So non-minified version is going to provide better readability, debugging is easier. But on production, we won't be reading the code directly on the production server. So, you know, have the non-minified version there so you have better performance. And anytime you want to debug your production issues, you have the non-minified version in the development environment. Thank you for listening and have a great day.